I mean, let's face it, the average person that you mention that you use a paper planner, they're like, hmm, little do they know, I use two. So I would argue that behind every beautiful planner is a little sidekick that kind of takes a beating. <laughs> At least that's the case in my world. Basically, this half letter disc bound system is my ride or die. This contains a lot of space for me to work out my goals, to work out some future ideas I have. The main reason that I switched out of my Hobonichi cousin into this format, because you can see this particular page is designed basically the same way. So why would I use this instead of the Hobonichi? And the answer is because of all the other sections I have here in this, I'm able to customize them. For instance, on my monthly foldouts, I'm able to go ahead and just type in the same lists that recur week after week after week, and then month after month after month. I just, I can't be bothered to write all of those things in over and over. So being able to customize my own inserts and you know, have this set up right here waiting for me. Of course I can tweak it if I need it, but it really does give me a stronger baseline than recreating something month after month. I feel like there's momentum lost in that for me. So that's what you kind of have seen here. I just recently shared a setup video. I'll set the link up there in case you haven't had a chance to watch that yet. So I do enjoy keeping my pages neat. I like them to look fresh and clean. I do that Obviously, I share my pages, so there is some motivation there, if I'm honest, but the other reason is because this is what I like to look at. I don't love walking into a room with clutter all over the countertops that kind of like, you know, uh, like watch my little finger shake there, I don't like that. So why would I keep my planner all messy? I would never want to come back to it, basically. If this was just scratched upon scratched, it would not feel like a place that I wanted to revisit. So I do work to really try to use my planner, not just to create like a pretty thing. Like I, I enjoy creating something that looks nice, but I really do try to use it so that it is actually helping me accomplish things in life. But having said that, I recognize that sometimes this is not the space where I just want to work out ideas. So in the past I've used inboxes and I have something like that kind of set up here. But the reality is, is that forcing myself to daily stop and think about what it is I want to accomplish is good for me. When I do a, p a page like this, you know, I can brainstorm a whole month's worth of lists. And the big question is, is whether or not I'll refer back to it. So when I sit down each day and have a page each day to kind of look through, that does help bring out some of those ideas that I'm forever saying that are like stuck in my head and I really have to work them out. So I purchased this little guy probably in June. And so I have not been using it forever, but I have found that I love having the option of a daily. I'll show you how I divvy it out. I do write the day of the week here and I highlight that at the top. This top section I use for like something day specific that I want to get done that day. Maybe like my workout, I've been using it for that. And then this is just a list area where I can think of anything I want to do, anything I need to do, just jot it down. And then I do draw a line around that 21 hour mark and below that I typically on the left would track any meals or plan for meals for the following day. And then this area could be just like a journaling spot. It can be a scratchy spot to take notes from a phone call. I just love that I don't have to keep it the same thing. I can do whatever works for me in this. So I'm gonna just kind of flip you through some of these pages. You will see I use it some days and other days I don't. Some days have some highlighting and other days don't. It's really whatever I need it to be and I think that that's the beauty of it. Knowing that I don't really share this on a regular basis, it's like this private little spot that I can scratch stuff out and that's just working so well for me. I did create this fold out for A6. My friend requested it and so I did that for her and then once I had printed it out, I just thought, oh, that'd be kind of fun to stick it there. I don't really use the monthly pages up here in the front. They're not my favorite. So I thought, oh, I could have a nice little divider there for August. I haven't done anything yet. I literally had to make myself a little note, like you're waiting on your mini stickers from the planner spot. Cause I keep looking at this and I keep thinking, oh, I should probably plug in my dates, but I'm getting little tiny mini stickers and I think that they will work really well in this size. So I keep, I'm waiting for that and I'm not gonna jump into this yet. I don't want for this to become a complete duplicate of what I already have in here, but it would just be nice to have a little bit of a reference. I mean, it wouldn't hurt to add a few more mini dot stickers on there, right? So I just thought I would share this with you because I did want to just, in the spirit of full disclosure, show that obviously, you know, it is important for me for everything to kind of look clean and neat because that's how I feel like I work best. 
but at the same time I do want you to know that there is a place for me where I can just kind of come in and I can scratch things out and work things out if I need to and I'm just not likely to do that here on these pages so if you ever wonder like good grief you know does she ever have just random thoughts yeah I do and they go in here I bring this kind of to my coffee time in the mornings and so I'll look at my eye calendar I will jot down if there's something on the schedule for the day, I will think of other things that I would like to get done that day. And then I just leave this open on my desk for the most part. And I just basically have it here to jot down all the things that, you know, I could be putting down here in these lists, but honestly, sometimes I need to work them out here. And sometimes it's just unrealistic. Like all the things that I'm thinking of are not possible to do in one day. So this kind of helps me work through that. That's, it, that's a struggle for me. I'm either like can't think of anything to do or think of 900 things to do. And so this, this plus this is kind of helping me slowly work it into my schedule, slowly find my groove, and that's just, that's just me. I do use this little page flag. I just printed a daily clear label from my label maker, and so I just constantly am moving that every other day. So this is where I find this and this day, and then when that's done, I'll put it on the next so I can always find kind of two days at a time there. I have thought of like, oh wow, could I just use this primarily? But the answer is no, and the reason why is that I do really love to have a weekly view. I mean, it's one thing for me to see a month, but I get a little lost in that. It's nice to see a day to really focus in, but I can get a little lost in that. So the weekly view is kind of my Goldilocks view that I need to see where I am today, and if I have a lot of appointments coming up, or if I have a lot of free time, that helps me gauge how I schedule my to-do tasks. And so that is an important part for me and that is not offered here. Also, like I said earlier, it's just there's so many things that I'm able to customize in here instead of recreating a wheel every day and rewriting the same things. I really do like to have some of those automatically populated for me because they're included in my printable design. I will try to link below anything that I've used here. This is a Jillio blush croc cover that I purchased. It's just the cover, obviously no rings, it has a back pocket which I do not use and I did buy a plastic cover on Amazon that I'm able to slide this really cute little vellum in. It's just one pocket in the front. It doesn't go all the way around so I'm able to slide the vellum in there and that just kind of adds that little luxury touch. The vellum is from the planner spot. So that's kind of that. I just wanted to share that. It was definitely like more of a behind the scenes thing that's happening. And so next up, I'm just going to share a couple other things. I just recently shared a pencil pouch online, so I'm going to walk you guys through that. And then I shared my top drawer, which is random, but I got a request to walk through that. So I will share my planner drawer in case you want to see that too. <laughs>